Well, hey there, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Let's take a look around and see how the winter garden is growing and how all our little seedlings are doing. Well, certainly we have had a warm spell here in December. That's about to change. Today is the last warm day that uh, we're probably gonna get this year. And you can see from the state of my lawn and the weeds growing in between my garden beds that I haven't taken care of yet. Um, yeah, it, everything's been growing well in this warm weather. Um, get out here when it cools off and whack these weeds down, everything will look nicer. But I do want to show you around and give you an update on the things we've planted. If you've been on my channel, you saw us plant these seeds, you saw us uh, put these seedlings in, and they're looking really good. We'll begin over here with my little raised bed. I've just put a, a few uh, extras in here, things that I had left over. We've got some bunching onions there, some chives, some leeks, some dill, and some cabbages. They're not looking too good, that one especially. Something's been munching on those. Uh, these plants were in very sad shape because they'd been sitting in those seed trays for too long. And you can see if you leave things in a small sample of soil, they don't grow as much as the plants that you put out in the garden. These are the same seedlings that these all came from. So you can see here, this is the cauliflower. It's looking really good. I've been keeping the garden weeded with my scuffle hoe. Cauliflower is looking good. Now it's harder to get in with a scuffle hoe down here where the carrots are, but you can see the carrots are all coming up and I can see the rows now. So I can get in between these rows probably with that scuffle hoe. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a, a lot of carrots. They're spaced out pretty nicely. I am gonna have to do some thinning where they're clumped up, but man, I'm so glad to have carrots. At the end of this bed, got some lettuce that we planted in this pot. We reused the soil and we've got some herbs here and uh, they're not looking real great right there. We probably need to get some fertilizer on those. Yeah. A nice mix of lettuce there. I need to start eating that. Check this out. My herbs are still doing great. Hey, what are you doing in there, huh? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? My herbs, still the same as you saw it last time, except look at all this new growth. That's from that warm snap. We could get this in and dry this. Forget what this is. I think it's oregano, thyme one of the two but we've got it mixed in that's uh several kinds of herbs growing in here there's our rosemary the uh ginger really liked the warm snap and put up a few new new uh what do you call those St stems but there's probably a good chunk of ginger down in the ground i'm going to let it overwinter there the muscadines are finally deciding to drop their leaves and that's good. Get them nice and sleepy. We can come in and clean up all this mess. This is all one year's growth. These muscadines are incredible and in how, uh, how much they grow each year. Absolutely stunning how much they grow. We, we knock these down every year to this main vine and these spurs here like that. And everything else you see, new growth. I've got my three-year-old jalapeno still putting on jalapenos they're small but there they are and uh, yeah our leeks are standing up straight and looking good they're growing larger most of these leeks we started from seed some of them I bought at the store so there's two different varieties in there I can't really get in between and get those uh, oxalis weeds out but they don't eat much so the leeks well we keep them fertilized and they will do fine Right here, here's that granite cabbage. This is a cabbage that I'm trying for the first time, and it looks beautiful. Man, mosquitoes are fierce out here today. Yeah, something's eating the cabbage over here. This is probably a snail. But you want to come out and look for cabbage worms. But that's a beautiful sample right there, isn't it? That is a lovely cabbage. Start picking these leaves and eating that cabbage right away. And over here's the purple cabbage, looking great. Purple cabbage loves the winter garden. It grows great. This is my pak choy, and I've come out and taken some of them out and tried to thin, but they're so packed in there that 
I'll probably just leave them and see how they grow all tight together like that. They're ready to eat. You can stir fry that and yeah, that's good stuff. Our turnips, I've been slowly thinning my turnips, you can see. This line has been thinned and some over here has been thinned, but that's what they look like when they're not thinned. And you got to thin turnips if you want them to bulk up. So uh, yeah, got to have some turnips. These are Japanese, white variety. And well, I like turnips, so got to grow them. This over here looks very similar to that cabbage over there, but this is broccoli. And it's a, a loosely heading broccoli, so it's not the same kind of broccoli as you get it down at the store. And you can see the wind has flipped that one over. They're kind of windblown, but they're still healthy, looking good. We've got our cabbages down here. These are Dutch flat. That's the only plant that did not make it very well, but it's still trying, so we're going to leave it there. And you can see I've been coming through and weeding around them. Here comes the rain. That's one Meyer lemon tree. Look at that. This is a tree that is very confused. Down below, we have ripe fruit that needs to come in before the freeze next week. We have blossoms. Blossoms in December. And we have young fruit. And I have determined that this is Meyer lemon. If you saw another video, I thought that maybe some of the rootstock had branched out, but no. Lucy the lemon tree is a survivor. That is all one and a half years of growth from almost cut down to the stump. Yeah, confused trees. Well, somebody asked to see my Mexican sunflower that we started from a cutting. Well, there it is. It's starting to uh, give in to the winter weather too, but look how much it grew. It's, uh, you know, three, four feet tall. That is free fertilizer for your garden. That is a good chop and drop plant and it's growing in here solely to be used as a green manure, a soil amendment, good stuff. I am awaiting on my Sanguinelli blood oranges to ripen. I've got three of them on the tree here. And uh, yeah, that's a good orange. There's four of them actually. And they're not ripe yet, but they're getting there. This didn't give me a lot of fruit this year, but I'll take what I can get from a small little potted tree. I'm going to put that tree in that pot this coming spring. Give it some more room to grow, kind of like this one here, Makishu Mandarin. And it did not, it took the year off, but last year it was so loaded with fruit and they were delicious. Yeah, you can grow citrus in pots. Speaking of confused trees, this nectarine has blossoms all over it. And look at this, fruit. It's putting out new growth, new buds are coming out all over the place. This tree, Hmm. The weather's been so weird that I guess it just hasn't taken its cues. Clearly it doesn't take cues from length of day or it would have gone to sleep already. Same thing with these apple trees. These apple trees, they just don't know what to do. They should be dropping their leaves. Now they are looking a little bit like they are starting to drop their leaves, but these apple trees, yeah. This is going to... Be, let me tell you the plan with these. These varieties will not fruit well, if at all, in containers. It just doesn't happen. But these are rescue trees, and that's how they came to me. And so, well, we're just going to let them grow here. And when my trees in the backyard are mature enough, like in a year or two, I will use this as grafting stock, and we'll make multiple variety trees in the backyard. There's my fig tree, Celeste fig tree. It has gone to sleep dropped its leaves and needed a good prune this year, but I didn't get around to it. So that's all needing to be cleaned out, especially those branches coming up from the middle, shooting straight up through the middle. We'll do that when it's good and asleep, probably in February. But yeah, fruit trees, they don't know what's going on. This little guy's dead, sadly. I'm going to leave it here and see if anything comes up from the thicker wood down here. This is a King David variety, and I really, really wanted to have that King David variety. Man, have you seen the price of a King David tree these days? The apple tree? Yeah, crazy. So, I think they're starting to go to sleep. Leaves are certainly looking unhealthy and they'll drop soon. Well, there we have it. The rain's blowing in. I wanted to show you a little bit more, uh, but uh, yeah, it's starting to rain. And the mosquitoes, they're absolutely shredding me up out here. So, I'm going to go in. Thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Just a real quick update, a real short garden tour. 
And I hope you enjoy gardening. If you do, follow our channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. That is one confused, confused tree.